All right, today we're Bob Ross and some pine trees. Got some palmetto bushes and some woods. Now we're jumping into these pine trees. We're laying some dark green first. The key to a somewhat realistic tree is to lay in your dark colors first. And then you'll want to lay in the mid-tones and then you want to go through after that's done and you lay in all the highlights which would be like your lightest greens maybe some shades of yellow uh, this doesn't have to be real precise we're just kind of laying in some dark here and then we'll come back in and cover some of that up with some of the other greens. All right, so now I got a brush, a little bit of a grass green color. I'm just gonna kind of follow this darker green. Tap in on the top sides of it, kind of. I'm gonna kind of make sure you overlap some over the tree trunk. These are, you gotta make sure you're doing happy little taps because these are happy little trees. Just like Bob says, happy trees. All right. So now I'm gonna go in with an even little bit of a lighter shade of green than this as my next step. Back, got a little bit of a lighter green. I kind of use a brush that's not real flat or in good shape because it actually offers some kind of leafy pine needle textures. All right, let's grab some more of this. Just keep tapping away, tap, tap, tap. Harnessing my inner Bob right now. All right. All right, these don't have to be hyper realistic because they are about 30 foot up on this wall. As you can see, people will be shopping down there and looking up at quite a distance to see these trees. So they don't have to be crazy realistic. All right, last step, I got an even lighter shade of green here. It's kind of like a bright lime yellowish green color. Just gonna come through and tap around the tops of all these little clumps of green. This is gonna represent light hitting the top of the tree. kind of be sloppy with this. It's a good thing about trees, especially pine trees, is you can just kind of like tap away and it's really not gonna ruin the, the tree because there's no one way to do it. All right, now let's go on the ground and step back and see how this looks from ground level. All right, so here's kind of the pine tree and palmetto bush edge to a field off in the distance. Got to include a tree leaning over, of course. All right. 